Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ivy with GameStorm, and today I'm doing a little review slash unboxing for the Halo 4 Limited Edition box. As you can see here, it's got a little uh, indention thing, which looks like it could be broken, but it's really not. It's supposed to be like that. It stands up just like that. Uh, it's got this paperish outer sleeve. Um, as you can see, it says Limited Edition. 343 Industries has the Halo 4 logo. Here's the spine of it. And uh, tells you some stuff about the game. Tells you what's all included. Has a bunch of DLC in it. Uh, has the Ford into Dawn special uh, live series in there. It's got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, kind of shows you a brief overview of what's in the box. You know, pretty much just like any kind of game would have all this information. So, uh, you take it out of the sleeve, and the sleeve just looks like this. Put that over here. Here's what the actual case looks like. It has a number. I don't know if these numbers are actually, like, numbered for real, as in, like, they're limited, like, you know, zero, 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 0001, if someone has like the first one or something, or if it's just always the same number like that, who knows. But as you can see, it's shiny, has the UNSC logo. Um, it's gray, it's kind of kind of plain, but you know, the shininess makes it kind of cool. So, you know, that's, that's what it looks like as an overview. So now let's uh, open this up. As you can see, right here, this is a uh, magnetic little thing which makes it clip on there. You can hear that clipping on there. So there's that. And uh, we'll just go ahead and open this now. Now, this right here is the actual game case itself. Uh, it is pretty hard, which is good. You want your games protected. And when you open it up, it's blue inside, has some graphics on there, as you can see, it's very shiny. It has two discs in here. This disc is actually the one you will use to play the game with. Uh, the second disc is all for the, for the multiplayer. You have to put this in your console, and it's uh, four gigs worth of data that you have to transfer to your hard drive to be able to play the multiplayer. And then once you use this disc, you don't use it for anything else, and you just put this one in to actually play. So that's the contents of that. Now I'll set that over here. Now the rest of this stuff, I have not actually opened. So we will see what is inside these. As you can see, this is very shiny. It has a UNSC logo on it. I don't know what this is, but as you can see, it is rippable. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Trying not to mess up anything on the inside. And let's see what's in here now. Message handling directions. Okay then. Not really sure what this is. I don't think I can open it. Oh, I can't open it. Okay. Oh, whoa. Alright. There's some info in here, mission briefing. So basically it's just kind of like a uh, secret message, mission goal type, you know, mission orders that uh, they would give you, I suppose, in a special little package. Next thing, let's see here. This is, I looked at this, it is like a blueprintish type thing for Spartan armor. Gabriel Thorne. Don't know who that is. I haven't started playing the campaign yet. But I'm gonna guess I will find out. It has a bunch of different classes over here. You can see this, like Hazard, Pathfinder, Orbital. Kinda tells you some info. So that's a little nice collectible, I guess. It's pretty big. Yeah, maybe pin that up if you want to uh, put holes in it, but I probably won't. Set that over here. Now let's see some more little packages in here. This one has UNSC on it. 
shiny and red. And this one actually has a zip top on it. So let's see what's in here. Ah, okay. This is the forward into Dawn access code right here. Guess I'll have to blur that out later. <laughs> Or I'll just use it really quick so no one can uh, steal that from me. Uh, let's see. This is, let me read this. Avatar items for download. Uh, contains like skins, I guess. Yeah, so there's codes on the back. So those are just like special things like you can get for avatars and all that on the game. It's just a bunch of stuff. 14-day um, Xbox Live Gold Trial. How very nice of them. Two weeks. And just some customer support stuff. So that was what was in that. Set that over here. And this is the last thing in the box. It says Infinity on it. I remember that from the Ford Into Dawn series, the ship. So I'm not sure what this is. It has Gabriel Thorne on it again. Property of him. I guess he is something special. I don't know. I guess I need to figure out who that guy is. Hmm. Alright, so basically it's kind of like a diary or a letter or something. It's got some schematics. Stuff about the guns. So just little bonus features. And uh, there's two things in the back here that can actually come out. Let's see. Here is a letter from or to someone. And it actually opens up. Some stuff on the back there. That's pretty cool. And I've got this thingy. Got some war games session summary. Very nice. And that is all that's in this. That is what comes with the limited edition. Uh, let's see. You can see on the inside, it's all just black. So yeah. That is the limited edition of Halo 4. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, go pick this up. It was, I believe, $100 even. Uh, with tax, that comes out to $109. So yeah, um, I always buy the limited editions of any Halo game. I have all of them. I don't have any legendaries. I just have limiteds. But, uh, but yeah, so far I've played Halo 4, and it's uh, very, very awesome. Reminds me of uh, Halo 2, very fast-paced. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Look out for more of our Halo videos for this month of uh, Halo recognition and Halo praise for uh, the month of November. And we'll catch you next time. Later.